Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. Today I will prove what is called dimension theorem and I want to prove it for uh, modules actually. So, so let us set up the uh, notation. So we have a ring A, A is uh, a local ring and V is an A module. And we will assume V is finite A model. Then we have uh, to the module we have the support. So support of V as a A model. This is by definition all those prime ideals P. such that v, v localized p is non zero this is called the support of the module v support of v and you would have seen in uh, in uh, uh, earlier course that this is a closed set this is v of annihilator of v this is a closed subset of the spec of A. Remember uh, when we say spec of A, we uh, uh, consider the Zariski topology on that, then this is a closed subset. So, and the dimension of cruel dimension of V is by definition. Uh, the supremum of R so that we have a chain of length R in the support of V. This supremum is called the crude dimension of Of v. So, if V equal to A, then this is the, the definition of a cruel dimension of the ring A. V equal to A, this d A is what we have been talking in earlier lecture. This is the cruel dimension of A. Because in this case, support is the whole spectrum. Support of A the spec of A and uh, uh, I have been saying that a priori it is not clear that this uh, supremum is finite. So, we will prove today it is finite if the this ring is local and in that case we will have another two definitions of integers which are attached to V. So, um, also, I want to remind you the convention the dimension of the zero module is minus one. Okay, the another definition is, and also I am assuming V is non zero. So, in this above, V was non zero, V is non zero. So, that is why we had to make a convention dimension of a 0 module is minus 1. So, also we define now look at the another number which is called a Chevalier dimension that is S of V. This is by definition infimum 
of integer r such that there exist r elements in the maximal ideal of a such that when you go mod ideal generated by a1 to a r in the module v that is length of v modulo a1 to a r v this is finite. So, that means this residue class module v by a1 to a r v this is of finite length. This is called Chevalier dimension of This makes sense because certainly if I take a 1 to a r to be a generating set for the maximal ideal, then this module is v by m v and obviously this is a finite, uh, finite length module because in this case this residue class module has a support only m and uh, one test that a module is a finite length when the support consists of maximal ideals. So, also we will put by convention that uh, S of 0 module is minus 1, this is convention. And remember we have already defined D of V, D of V is by definition the degree of the uh, Hilbert Samuel polynomial P M V or for that matter P M P Q V where Q is any primary ideal, same primary ideal. And we have checked that the, this degree does not depend on the primary ideal you choose. So, you can take uh, whichever primary ideal we need to take. And the theorem says now these three numbers are same. This is called dimension theorem. He says that uh, dimension of V equal to D of V equal to S of V. In particular, uh, dim V is finite. That is because it is a degree of a polynomial or also uh, this uh, also it is clear that this um, S V is bounded by for example, the minimal number of generators for M and because uh, we are we should also assume when I say local ring by definition that it has only one maximal ideal and it is Noetherian. Noetherian is also part of that definition of local ring. So, we will prove this theorem. So, proof of the plan of the proof is we shall prove the inequalities um, dimension of V is less equal to d m is less equal to S V is less equal to dimension of V. So, this will prove their equalities. This is let us call this as 1, this is 2. So, we have to prove these 3 inequalities. Okay. So, the first one proof of 1. So, first let us dispose of the case suppose d m is 1 minus 1. That means this module m is 0. No, not uh, not 0, but dm is minus 1 means so that is 
the degree of the Gilbert Samuel polynomial is minus 1, but that means m by that means it is 0 polynomial for large large uh, n. So, that means m by m power n m is 0 for large n. But that means m is 0 by Nakam lemma because we are in a local ring a, m is a finite oh, why did I change it to m now v. So, this is v and this is also v everything is v here. V is 0 by Nakayama lemma. But uh, if V is 0, then we have put by definition D D of V is minus 1 by convention. So, that proves this inequality. If this is minus 1, this is minus 1, that is what we have proved. Now, assume D of V is bigger equal to 1. So, that will imply bigger equal to 0, that will imply V is non 0 and that means support of V is non empty. So, there exists a prime ideal P, so that implies there exists a P in the support. such that uh, dimension of V equal to dimension of A by P. Remember we have put uh, this dimension to be dimension of V to be the length of the chains of the prime ideals in the support. So, um, uh, I take the the at the the left end I take the most so that we cannot go on further. So that is dimension is dimension of A by P because if the lower end of the chain is some primordial P I choose so that this is maximum attained there. So it is dimension of A by P. In fact, in fact this P we can choose in the associated primes of V. Because uh, you remember the minimal prime, minimal elements in the support and minimal elements in the associated primes are same. So, therefore, uh, if P is in the support, uh, P is in the associated primes. So, that is that means a by p is a submodule of v because associated prime means it is an annihilator of some element and so it is a by p a by p is a submodule of v so that will mean that the degree remember when somebody is a submodule in the last lecture we have seen the lemmas that the degree of the Hilbert Samuel polynomial for A by P and degree of the Hilbert Samuel polynomial for V, this is less equal to this. So, with this, it is enough to prove now to prove the inequality 1, it is enough to prove that um, if I have a chain like this. P equal to P0 containing proper chain of length R, then 
this r should be smaller equal to d of a by p. So, this we shall prove, we shall prove this by induction on R. This by induction on R. Okay. So, if R is 0, then there is nothing to prove. Then nothing to prove. If R is bigger equal to 1, then choose an element, choose an element A in P1 which is not in P0 that you can choose because the chain is proper and consider the exact sequence 0 to 8 by P0 and multiplication by a by p0 uh, multiplication by a on a by p0 so this makes sense because this is a multiplication by an element a and this element a is not in p0 a by p0 is an integral domain so it is non zero element there so multiplication map is injected and the, the co kernel is a by p0 plus ideal generated by a So, we have this exact sequence and then once we have an exact sequence then we know that D of this P0 plus A is strictly smaller than D of A by P0. Since we have proved that if I take the alternating sum of the Hilbert polynomials and uh, take the degree, that degree is smaller than the degree of the middle one. So, since D of uh, P m uh, middle one that is A by P 0 plus this one uh, P m uh, a by p0 plus a minus pm a by p0 this degree is strictly smaller than degree of the middle that is pm a by p0 but you see this is same polynomial so the leading coefficient will get cancelled. So therefore this degree is smaller equal to this degree so that is what it means that D of that is strictly less than this. Okay, now once we have proved this now choose prime P0. Uh, P1 uh, P prime in the associated primes of A by P0 plus A. Remember I am trying to choose uh, sequence of elements which will generate uh, so that the module V by those elements will have a finite length. So, this uh, choose uh, associated prime p prime of a by p0 plus a such that p1 uh, p prime is contained in p1 remember this ideal is in between p0 and p1 because a was in p1 so p1 may not be associated so i choose a prime which is contained in p1 and which is associated prime and look at this sequence. Now I remove P0 and P1 from the chain and look at P prime 
which is contained in P2. This is not equal because this is contained in P1 and so on. Look at the chain. And, and now by induction that R minus 1 is this this length is R minus 1 because it starts with uh, this is starting with 1. So, its length is R minus 1. So, this is less equal to D of A by P prime by induction. And now you look that this is the associated prime. So, there is the injective map, this is a, a by P1, A by P prime is a submodule of A by P0 plus A. And therefore, D of this is smaller equal to D of this. So, now we have uh, inequality C, this is this one, let us call this as 2, this as 3 and also we have proved uh, D, uh, this is 1. So, R is less equal to D of A by P and this and this I want to combine to get R minus 1 less equal to D of A by P prime and this one is less equal to this one D of A by P 0 plus A and this is now the last one that the first one that is D of A by P 0 minus 1 because that one I shift to the other side. So, therefore, all together that implies R is smaller equal to D of A by P0. That is what we wanted to prove. That is the first inequality. So, I proved that if I take any chain of prime ideals of length R in the support, then that is bounded by this num this degree. So, therefore, that proves that dimension of V is less equal to D of M or D of V because we have chosen P0 with that property. Okay, so, that proves the first inequality. 